Well, it is Saturday morning and it's a little warmer than it has been. The temperatures have definitely been dropping this week. Um, today is maybe supposed to get up to the mid to high 50s. So that's better than the last couple of days, which have been in the 40s. Um, so I'm here. I'm hoping to get um, a good chunk of this side of the wall done. Um, the, the exterior siding. I'm inside at the moment um, because my first step in the process is to um, caulk any visible gaps that I can see in the siding. And it seems like the inside is the easiest way to do that. From the outside, I look at it and I really can't tell where there's gaps, where there's air coming through or moisture could come through. Um, so doing it from this side, it gives me a better view of where those are at as the light shines through. Um, so I'll start with that and then head back outside and um, finish doing some prep and then start with my primer and see how it goes. I did have to make a trip back to Menards this week. Um, I had mentioned last week that I had ordered some of the primer that I'm using, the Zinsers uh, Peel Stop Triple Thick, um, but they didn't have it in stock so I didn't have any to get started with on the project. And after getting home, I thought, oh, well, that was silly while I was there. I should have bought at least a few gallons to get me going. I didn't do that, so I had to make a trip back. But it was good. There were some other things that I was able to pick up that I hadn't thought of either. So um, yeah, just gonna get going here and see how far I can get. Um, hopefully make some good progress. And I've had some people volunteer to help. Um, so I really wanna kind of have a good like protocol or system in place to be able to have people help and be able to give good instructions of like, this is the steps that we take to, to do this. So um, yeah, hopefully today I can work through some of that so that um, if there are people that would like to help, it I can have them out and feel like give them good instructions um, and still get the project done well. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let's see how it goes. So I'm definitely like nervous, excited to start on this. Um, nervous just cause I'm hopeful that it all works the way I want it to. Um, but really excited just to like be doing this, like to be painting my house. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. I've got the wood all prepped um, and I'm just gonna give it a go. So there's a couple different instructions on the back. There's different ways of applying this primer. One is to apply a light coat and then come back while it's actually still wet within a half an hour and apply a thicker coat. So that's what I'm gonna try first here is just see how that works. I bought this uh, roller. Um, it's a short, um, I think this is a four inch um, roller um, and kind of <laughs> had a hard time deciding what kind of rollers to get which sounds funny because it's not that complicated but um, this one that I decided to go with um, I really like it because the end doesn't have a hole um, so it feels like it's not gonna 
I don't know, I always feel like a roller kind of pokes things as you get down towards the edges of parts and it doesn't carry any paint. So then it's just kind of, um, just not as helpful. So again, this is supposed to fill fine cracks and holes, the primer itself. So I, and, but it does say it's no, it's not a replacement for filling holes or gaps that need filling. So I did fill holes and gaps as you saw last week, um, but smaller ones or like, you know, here the wood is um, where it's chipped, where the paint, old paint is chipped, you know, it definitely leaves some texture. So the goal is that this primer does the work of kind of filling in those spots. So we shall see if it does what it promises, but um, yeah, so far it's looking okay. Um, you know, I can see where I've rolled. It doesn't look like anything fantastic, but um, yeah, we'll see what it does. So I have some of it primed. I'm really excited to see what it looks like with some paint on it. I need to let it dry a little, but um, on this side, this board here will need to be replaced. So that one is not primed, but from the bottom up, um, over in here, actually I see right now that I didn't get that area primed. <laughs> I was waiting for some of the putty to dry, the wood putty. So I gotta still prime that. But then under here is primed. This part again will need to be replaced and this little piece down here is pretty bad. Um, but then you can see over here, all of this is primed. So um, yeah, the product seems to work well. Um, obviously time will tell once we get a coat of paint on it, how it looks and how it all holds up. But at this point I'm happy and excited to see how it all comes together. I have just a few more things that I'm going to wrap up here, but um, I thought I would just take a minute and show you how the siding's looking. Um, the day flew by. I feel like I wasn't out here working that many hours and now it's time to kind of wrap things up and um, it'll be getting dark here before we know it. Um, but I'm really pleased with how it looks. So um, I'll show you what that looks like and um, just keep plugging along on it next week, hopefully make um, a lot of progress but um you know i only have so much of that primer um so but if i could finish at least this side next week that would be really amazing um i touched base with a friend this week um from church that used to do construction and asked if he happened to still have scaffolding and he does so i am going to be using his scaffolding probably picking it up the beginning of this coming week so that will be awesome that will definitely help the project keep moving along at a good pace um i could go further up with the ladder not to the top um, my, my ladder's not that tall but i could continue without it but that will definitely just keep things rolling it'd be easier not to be up and down a ladder and moving it all the time and so i'm really excited and thankful about that um but yeah i feel like this week was a little slower than last week last week there was so much going on and exciting stuff but honestly, this is almost just as exciting to me as getting the foundation fixed, seeing the beginning stages of getting this wall painted. So um, can't wait to see what next week holds. Thanks for watching, guys.
So here's what it looks like. You can see there's a few boards there that I haven't painted. Some of them I just didn't um, get wood putty in them soon enough so I couldn't sand them down and get them primed. So that will be a project maybe for tomorrow, I'm hoping. But I'll step back so you can kind of see kind of how it's looking. I'm thinking I have maybe a quarter of this side done. <laughs> uh, and this is one of the small sides, but you know, gotta start somewhere and I am just really pleased with how it's looking. I really like this color white and um, it seems to be covering really well. So yeah, definitely excited about how it looks. So another thing I've been working on this week is trying to get some more official house plans drawn up. Um, I did have some that I had put in like a journal um, a couple years ago, and they're not bad. They were, they were useful for what I was doing, but I need something more official to be able to give um, like the electrician that came out is interested in seeing plans so that he can give me an accurate estimate of what it would cost him to wire the house versus me wiring the house. Um, and then I had heard from the contractor I'd gotten in touch with about doing spray foam insulation and he also was asking for plans. Um, so while they won't be the same as you would get from like an architect, um, because I'm not an architect, they will be more to scale and accurate um, and can be shared with contractors or other people that might need to see them. And it'd be useful for me too. My plan is to make some copies of them, um, leave them blank as far as any appliances or those kinds of things. Um, and then I'll be able to shift things and really see how they will fit. So, yep, that's another side project I've had going on this week. So.